Okay, so the next task in our model create energy model creation is to create the geometry for the building. First, we will save the file as a new file. It's always good to save files, save revisions of files in Open Studio. That way you can always go back to previous versions if you encounter trouble. Next, we will check our preferences units to ensure that we are working in the English Imperial System units. Next, we will go to the Geometry tab in the left. And then we will go to the top where the Editor tab is. We will be using Floor Space JS to create the geometry. Click New. There are several options to create geometry and use as references. For now, we will just create a new floor plan. Next, select the Import Image button to import our floor plan. And then you will want to move the floor plan to wherever your origin is. We will be using 00, zero as our origin. So try to locate it as close as possible. Next, you will want to scale the image. You'll notice that I put a scaling dimension on the image so that we have a reference for how large the space is. We will move this to scale the image by dragging on the corner to adjust it to 120 feet. Next, click outside of the image to lock it in place. We will want to change our grid units to one half of a foot. Next, to create a space, we will click the rectangle button. Click and drag to create the space. When you want to add a new space, click the plus button. You'll notice that the, the cursor turns red when it locks onto the edge of a previous space. community room is an odd shape so we will create it by multi using multiple rectangles without clicking the plus to add the space button you can see that the rectangles are additive there, 
Now we have our spaces. The next task is to rename the spaces to reflect what is on our floor plan. Click the expand button. Space 1-1, one, one, one one, we will rename to 101 as seen on our floor plan. We'll go through and rename all of the spaces. Next, we will assign space types to each space. Click the drop down arrow to select the space that is applicable to that room. So for space 101, this is going to be the apparatus bay. Continue through for all of the spaces. Next, we will assign construction sets to each space. Since all of the spaces are contained within the same building, we only have one construction set. For this example, we are not going to do a pitched roof or a below floor plenum. Check the floor to ceiling height. Then, check the plenum height. For the apparatus bay, there is no plenum. For the offices, lockers, storage, we do have a plenum. The community room does not have a plenum. We will not have floor offsets There, we are finished. Click Merge with Current OSM. Now select the 3D View tab on the upper left. Our model has been created and space types have been assigned. Next, we will continue with creating subsurface geometry on the model and other assignments.